Okay, in this video we're actually going to go ahead and create or simulate gravity in our programs. Now all I have in this basic program as of right now is a blank backdrop and a ball that I imported from Scratch's built-in sprite library. Now what I want to do is I want the ball to go ahead and free fall under the influence of gravity every time I press the green flag. So we know we're going to need when the green flag is clicked. Now I want you to imagine that this ball is in your hand, somewhere way up here. When you press the green flag, you let go and it free falls and actually accelerates down. Now of course I could do something like, let's get the ball to go all the way up top every time. So we're going to do x0 so it's centered and say something like y, I don't know, 140. So now when I press the green flag, the ball goes to the top of the screen every time, regardless of where it is. And I can do something like change y by minus 10 and put this into a repeat block and it will appear as though it's falling. So if I do this, say, repeat 100 times, it's going to appear as though the ball is falling, but it's not actually accelerating. There's no gravity here. It's just kind of like a fake free fall. You're just changing the y position. We want this to actually accelerate under the force of gravity. To do this, I need to add a gravity variable. So I'm going to hit make a new variable called gravity. And we're going to set the gravity underneath the go to. I also want to point out it's important that the go to is not in a forever loop because if it was, every time I press the green flag, no matter where the ball was, it'd go back to the beginning. And then, of course, it wouldn't be able to fall. So the go to goes above the forever loop, but we haven't gotten there yet. So we want to set the gravity at the start to whatever the force of gravity is. Now, on Earth, it is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We're going to do something a little bit smaller, like negative 0.98. Now, we need one more variable other than just gravity, and that is called velocity. So we can actually change the speed or acceleration of our ball. So I'm going to go ahead and type in velocity. And we're actually going to set velocity to zero at the start of our program. Now we're going to start to use forever, because we want this to happen forever whenever the program's turned on. So at this point, when I press the green flag, Gravity sets itself to the right number, and velocity stays at zero. And of course, our ball is located in our hand up at the top of the screen. What we need to do is we need to actually cause a relationship between velocity and gravity. That way, as the program runs, velocity will actually accelerate when the ball starts to fall. So we need to go ahead and say velocity is set to velocity plus gravity. So I'm going to use the operator block here and drag the velocity plus gravity. So right now, if I press the green flag, you'll notice that velocity accelerates rapidly times or with the addition of gravity in the negative direction because, of course, we're free falling. If we change gravity to a positive number, we would actually be going straight up. So the ball didn't move at all. And that's because we never told that the ball has a relationship to velocity and gravity. So here we go. We're going to go to the Motion tab, and we're going to set its Y position. We're not worried about X. We're just free falling, so we're just going up and down. We're going to set Y to the Y position plus velocity. So now its Y position, and again, that's the vertical position, is going to be affected by the velocity variable. So let's see what happens. When I press the green flag, look at that. The ball falls. However, it doesn't stop falling. In fact, it keeps accelerating as it continues to kind of twitch at the bottom of my screen here. That's because we never told it what to do when it gets to the bottom. So we need to say at some point velocity should equal zero when it's at the bottom of my screen. To do this, I'm going to paint a new sprite. I'm just going to grab a green box and I'm going to kind of paint a rectangle along the bottom of my screen here. And I'm going to call this ground. I'm going to go ahead and just center this at the very bottom of my screen. Go to the center here. And notice how it's actually in front of the ball. To move characters on top of one another, all you have to do is click and drag. And now the ball is located on top of the ground. And I'm actually going to rename this to ground. So what we want to say in our program for the ball is if we're touching the ground, set velocity to zero, stop falling. However, at all other times, set the velocity to our gravity free falling function that we've already written. To do this, I'm going to use an if else statement. So if else, and of course, if 
touching ground. So if touching ground. Now let's see what happens. It free falls until it gets to ground. So our ball goes ahead and accelerates until it hits ground. Now I can change my gravity number to change the speed at which it accelerates. So if you want to be on the moon, you can change the number and have a different gravity effect on your characters. And what I want to do now is I actually want to make my ball go up every time I press the up key rather than just free falling. So I'm going to throw out this go to at the start of my program. So now when the green flag is clicked, the program starting, and if I were to manually drag the ball and move it around, it can free fall from wherever I drag it to. And I want another event for the up key. So we can say something like if, we're going to put this in a forever loop, if up is pressed, let's go here, if the up key is pressed, I'm going to zoom out so I can fit everything together. If the up key is pressed, we're just going to set the velocity to a positive number, like let's say 5. And of course, we need to remind the ball that it has a relationship with velocity. So we need to create the exact same set y block that we had in our free fall code. So set y to y plus velocity. Y plus velocity. And let's see what happens. I'm going to press the green flag. Now at this point, the ball can free fall if I move it, or if I press the up key, the ball will actually jump and free fall. And if I continue to press the up key, it'll go higher and higher and higher until it free falls. Now if I want to change the height at which it could jump, I can make this a bigger number. So now the ball will jump a little bit higher every time I press up, and you'll notice that it actually accelerates until grab, the force of gravity takes over, and then it free falls back down. Now humans can't just jump in midair. So really what this should say is, if touching ground, meaning that my feet, imagine this is no longer a ball, imagine this is a character, if touching ground, then you can jump. So now I can no longer just push and hold the up arrow and go up, I can only jump if the ball is on the ground. So I can only jump once, so I'm kind of limiting my character's ability here. We're going to talk about bouncing in another video, but this is overall the gravity code. You can also go ahead and combine this into a single event. So if I were to drag this whole if statement and throw out my second uh, forever loop, this should still work exactly the same. Um, so you do not need to make multiple events. You can keep everything in one nice linear program here.